Lono, I got a request to read this uh, this comic on uh, YouTube. So here we go. Hope y'all enjoy. Bong Chan Dong Ghost. <laughs> this story is based on true eyewitness accounts. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, it was at around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring night, study sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. All right. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. Oh, I looked up to see who was there. Oh, uh, wait, no, that's what it should say. I looked up to see who there was and saw a woman walking in front of me. But she looked a little strange. <laughs> I could say, I, I, you got to look at that leg. What's up with the leg? I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Zombie. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. Amazing. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Wicked. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Oh, I was not ready for that. That freaked me out. That freaked me out. I was thinking zombie the whole time. Ah. Oh. I think two drops of pee came out. Two little, two little drops of pee came out. You know, people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Well, you know, I, I didn't seem to have a problem. Where's my baby? <laughs> my thoughts were racing to her question. Oh, my God. I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gives me chills. Thinking that moment. Gulp. And. Okay. Something's fixing to happen here. And. She points finger. I answered. Pointing as far as I could. Oh. Over there. Alright. I just wanted her to get away from me. <laughs> then she leapt towards where I had pointed to. And I couldn't see her anymore. <sighs> Man, that first one got me pretty good here. I know something's fixing to happen. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave the apartment complex. Yeah, here it goes. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment... She is not here! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're in trouble now. I heard her screaming from far away. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it! And I still got goosebumps. Uh, not cool, man. Not cool. Oh, and they're not done with this. They're still not they're gonna they're, they're still not done with this. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. Okay, in 2007, an apartment complex in Bongcheon Dong, <laughs> Na Ak Gu Seo, I'm probably saying that all kinds of wrong, a 33 year old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as surname Cho, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, ah, dirt leg, she had lost her custody of her two year old daughter and decided to commit suicide. 
After that incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. Creepy. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around. Why do they repeat that? Why do they repeat that? They repeated it. Okay. And the rest of this, I'm probably not going to read. I'm just going to look at that because it's, uh, it's not for me. So, <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed me uh, freaking out on that. That was fun. I see now why I was coaching to reading this.